Greetings, 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 my sports to the bone people. Welcome back to another video. All right, my viewers and subscribers. So in this one, I just have a couple of things I want to share with you all. So today is the final day of round five in the West Indies 4D Regional Championship. And yesterday, I didn't actually get a chance to give you an update on day three. So as we go into day four, I just want to talk to you guys a little bit. Right, the Jamaica Scorpions, they have already lost their game um, to Trinidad and Tobago. So I will give you a rundown of that. But all the other four teams, they will be finishing off today. We also see where Guyana's captain, Leon Johnson, he has actually made, you know, he made his last walk as it relates to batting for Guyana yesterday. So we're going to talk about him a little bit. Plus, we're going to take a look at Alzari Joseph. His team ended up on the winning end yesterday in the IPL as Joseph was able to pick up a couple of wickets. Um, as I am making this video, uh, Sunil Narayan and Andre Russell, I think they are actually in action. So, yeah, I'm going to talk a little bit, my peeps. So just hit that subscribe button and make sure you leave a comment so I can hear exactly what you are thinking. All right, so... Let us kick things off with the Jamaica Scorpions versus Trinidad and Tobago. I tell you, I don't know what is going on with Jamaica's cricket, but Wilford Billy Heaven, along with his entire team, they need to answer. You understand, we have been extremely poor this season. We, we, we haven't won a game. You understand, I think the, the, the reason we got, up, we got a couple of points on the board uh, we drew a game, if I'm not mistaken, but I don't remember us winning anything. You understand? And um, it's not like we have been losing the games in clo um, by close margins. We have been losing the games pretty, pretty. Um, we have been losing the games pretty, pretty um, badly. You understand? So scores in that game, Trinidad and Tobago, they made. Um, they let me see. Scores in that game, Trinidad and Tobago, they made. 302 yeah man so trinidad and tobago made 302 and jamaica scorpions they were bowled out a couple of times so three 302 for trinidad um jamaica went in and made 125 and uh, then we were asked to bat again and we made 275 you understand so giving trinidad just a couple of runs to win trinidad and tobago they got that easily scoring 102 for one winning the game by all of nine wickets it's not a good look my peeps winning trinidad won the game by nine wickets and a ball and and, and a day to spare so let me just give you um so I, I just gave you the, 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 the scores in the game. So let me give you some of the top performers coming out of that game. So in the first innings for Trinidad, we had Terence Hines making um, 94. Anderson Philip getting 63. And bowling for the Jamaica Scorpions, we had Derval Green with 3. Javier Royal with 2 wickets. OJ Shields 2 and Marquino Minley 2. Now, in Jamaica's uh, first innings, where we were bowled out for 125, there is not much to talk about there. Um, the top scorer, Javar Royal, he got 27. Um, well, the top scorer was Derval Green with 39, and Royal got 27. The destroyer of Trinidad in that was Tian Webster, picking up five wickets. Right, So when Jamaica was asked to bat again, as I said earlier, we scored 275 with Leroy Log getting 66, Jermaine Blackwood getting 66, and um, Abjai Mansings 32, Aldin Thomas got 39. Nobody else really did anything. Bowling for the Trinidad and Tobago team, we had Imran Khan picking up four wickets in that second innings. And Trinidad and Tobago uh, Red Force, they were able to get the winning, the winning um, score, scoring 102 for one. And we had Mohan getting 44, Puran Poo, at the top of the order getting 39. So, you know, those were the two guys that were able to get the game squared away for Trinidad and Tobago. Now, going into the final day, which is today, we still have a couple of teams. Um, well, the, the, the other teams, they are still 
um, they are still out there trying to trying to, to, to take home the game. So Barbados versus Windward Islands. Uh, in that game, um, Barbados need a further 208 runs to win. You understand? 208 runs to win and they are 28 for 3. 28 for 3. Um, scores in that game. Windward Island 237, 225. Barbados 227 and 28 for 3. I won't go down into details and give you everybody's score because later on, once the game is finished, I will do that. So um, Barbados going in with needing 208 more runs to win, already three wickets down. Um, the other game, Guyana versus Leeward Islands. Uh, we see Guyana, um, Guyana, their captain. You know, we're going to talk about him after this. So Guyana, they. Um, well, day three, Leeward need a further 62 runs to win. They are 81 for one. So it seems as if the Windward Islands will take this one. So they need um, 80, 80, they are 81 for one. They need 62 more runs to win. So, you know, scores in that game, Guyana 122, 267, Leeward's 247, 81 for one. So... That is how it is looking, my peeps. And as I said earlier, while we we're talking about Guyana, their captain, Leon Johnson, he has actually made his final walk for Guyana as a cricketer in terms of batting. You know, he will take the field again today, um, obviously, as his team is out there, is, is, is out there right? So, um, yeah, definitely a good servant to Guyana's cricket. Scored a whole lot of runs, you know. I think he won... If I'm not mistaken, at least five um, regional titles. So, you know, he will definitely be missed. Would have had a career spanning over 10 years. And, um, you know, some will say he did not get a fair chance for West Indies. Some will say he was a very good captain, but not the best batsman out there. But, you know, um, knowing how West Indies cricket would have been over the period of time. I can understand if somebody like Alian Johnson would have would feel that you know he should have gotten some more opportunity with the bat for West Indies. So um, you know, shout out to Leon Johnson. Yeah, man. Um, finally, before we go, the IPL is up and running. Yesterday we would have seen the Chennai Super Kings taking on Alzari's team, the Titans. Um, the Alzari's team actually won that game. And in that game, Alzari took two wickets for 33, if I'm not mistaken, with um, from his four overs. So good to see, you know, Alzari continuing. And we also, while I am recording this, we have uh, Calcutta Knight Riders in action. So you can understand that Sunil Narayan and uh, Andre Russell, they will be taking the field. So we're going to leave it right here for now and we will touch base later on. Big up.